Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector with another action figure review and here at the Marvel Legends Shang-Chi Legend of the Ten Rings Shang-Chi figure. Um, so I was able to pick him up. I saw a whole wave. I was not able to get it because it was kind of broke at the moment, but I was able to grab him, which I thought was the most important figure to grab, but I will grab the rest of the figures at some point. Um, but besides that, um, I did also find him at Walmart. Uh, and do know there's they're trying to bring some in at Target, but there's like a street date thing going on for those places But I found mine at Walmart. Um, but besides that let's get to the figure or the box here So we get the Marvel Legends logo on top. We get that little symbol from Shang Chi's outfit here uh, On the top here in orange and then we get the Shang Chi Legend of the Ten Rings logo here Shang Chi in gold and here's the side art of Shang Chi here. Here's the back with that same artwork. And if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And then here's the figures in the waves. So we're building Marvel's um, Mr. Hyde. Uh, so it comes with Shang Chi, his father. I'm trying to see his name here. Winwu, and then Xiling, um, Death Dealer, um, Page. For, I keep forgetting this. Oh, Civil Warrior and then Iron Man. Um, and then same artwork there. Here's the bomb with the DCPI. Who says that? Let's crack them open. And here's Shang Chi out of the packaging here. So let's go over the accessories. So first we get this staff here. So kind of looks like a maroon, kind of brown, red type of mix here. I uh, like the detail on the staff here. Uh, for the grip piece here. So you get some sculpting in between there too, if it'll focus. It's kind of like a hexagonal kind of sculpt in there. You can kind of see it as well. And you get this like little piece here. I don't know what that's for. Uh, and we get the same detailing on this side too. And then you get the gold bar here or bronze. So be careful with this too, because it might snap if you bend it too much. I'm not going to bend it obviously. It's a staff, you're not supposed to. Um, and we get hides. Um, let me see which foot is his left leg here. So we'll go over that once we build the figure. We get two of uh, a pair of clinching hands here, which we've seen before. And then we got some new hand sculpts here, which kind of look like they're snapping hands or I don't know, some hand gesture hands here. So these are brand new. I've never seen these before. Um, if they're not new, just let me know which figure they're from. But I, I've never seen these hand sculpts. But yeah, there's those. And then that's all we got for the hands. So let's go over the figure itself here. So here is Shang-Chi. Let me get my focus here. There. So here's the face sculpt here. So the only problem that I have with the face sculpt is that they should add in that little bit of facial hair that um, the actor has in the film. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So up here, you can kind of see he has some facial hair. Just a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little. Like you can kind of see it. Just a little bit. So, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me or it, it kind of looks like he has a little bit of facial hair. This one he just looks like he has a complete baby face right now. Um, but they did a good job on the head sculpt. I just wish they added in that facial hair paint there. Uh, the hair looks accurate, looks nice, but yeah, uh, I love the outfit for this figure. Like, I love the lines are very clean. I love the, sc the sculpt. Uh, the texture is really nice here. So yeah, you can see all that texturing going on throughout the shirt here. It's nice. See, you can see there's a lot of texture on the shirt. Um, the lines are clean, so you get this like a little bit of a darker red in the inner part here. I, th I don't know if it's darker red or it's just the paint, like black paint kind of messing with me, my eyes a little bit. And you get that little zipper down the middle there. You get these like little side pieces here with some black. Um, and then you get the back piece here. You get the like shoulder pieces. It's, I wish to add a black through the back piece here with these lines. That would be really nice. Uh, you get this black piece here, which is also texturized. You get some more texture here. Yeah, darker red here. You get the black sleeves. 
and rolled up sleeves. You get two, uh, you get a pair, <coughs> sorry, uh, you get a pair of like staff holding hands from. Um, and then you get the black pants here for him. Uh, I think these are the same pants from Logan. I can't tell. They seem a little bit more baggy though. And they have no pins in it. The arms still do, sadly. I think this is a brand new arm sculpt. So I don't know why they didn't take the pins out, do the pinless joint stuff. And then we get the tennis shoes here, which look pretty nice. Kind of looks like Vans a little bit, but I can't tell. But yeah, you get the white like soles here, black shoes with the laces. So yeah. Uh, let's go over the articulation for him so his head can go down that far up that far pretty good he can look left and right pivot uh it's a ball joint double ball joint and this articulation for the head is really nice actually i like that a lot i don't know why they didn't do that with all the other figures he looks up pretty far too and he doesn't have that little uh, slot there so i think they figured out a good way for the head joints to move well for these figures now so that's nice. Um, his shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation. Um, bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows that go past 90 degrees. His wrists can hinge down that far. Up that far. 360 rotation around there. He has an ab crunch that makes him go down that far. Backwards quite a lot. He has a waist swivel, uh, which is pretty nice because then it doesn't mess with the shirt or mess it up or anything like that. It has it's a little stuck there for a second, but wear it out a little bit. 360 rotation around there. Kick out that far. I wish they had like the drop down hips for this guy. Uh kick forward that far. You can kinda of look like make it look like he's kicking more by making him crunch a bit, so that's nice. Backwards, none. Like none. A little bit. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. Basically a butt kick. Uh, ankles, ankles can hinge down that far, up that far. Nice ankle pivot. And here he is all posed up. So even though he doesn't have like that drop down hip and stuff like that, you can make him put him in really cool poses, um, which is what I like about this fear. Um, so I think the only thing that I have a problem with, it's not a whole lot. Well, I already told you that drop down hips is one that they could have added in, but eh, it's all right. It works well right now. And then the pinless joints, but besides that, I mean, sure, they could have added like that, some paint detail in the back there. But besides that, they did a really good job on this figure. Um, I cannot wait to get the other figures because it looks like they're doing pretty good on them now. Um, and then there's that Hasbro Pulse stream coming up on monday so i'm excited to see that maybe they'll actually announce the release date but uh yeah um i know there's some people outside of the u.s that are having problems trying to get this figure um which sucks so but um maybe try reaching out to other collectors i know i'm helping out like sergio and then one other guy Looking for a, um, looking for, uh, Shang chi Um, so yeah, just reach out to other collectors. I don't know why they're not sending them out to your guys' countries, where apparently it's only U.S. why I've been hearing, so. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for this figure. I recommend getting them. Um, and then also, uh, I cannot wait to get the, all the other figures. Um, and I want to, like, this movie looks nuts. I cannot wait to see it. Um, but besides that, uh, make sure you check out my Twitch. I'm going to try doing Twitch streams since the new Call of Duty season just started. So, yeah, keep an eye on that. It's the Hunter Collector. Um, and that's all I've got.